Anyways, sorry for the bad lighting, guys. Um, it's going on nighttime, and I was just actually getting ready for bed. Um, but we're going to do some feeding of my betas. Gabby's all the way in the back behind that big-ass plant. And there she is. Poseidon, he's quite happy. His tank's now heated. Um, so basically the only tanks that aren't are my 10 gallon and 30 gallon. Um, my 5 gallon has under tank heating. Um, I'm using my, excuse me, my uh, heating pad and it's kept at medium heat which is roughly maybe 80 something, I don't know, maybe 81, 82 degrees. It's not too, like it's warm-ish. Like tonight, because I've got a filter going in it, it's kind of cold. Um, but it will heat up once I switch the filters. Um, because unfortunately, as you can see, I have no filter system. Like I don't have enough to go around. And yeah, I like to uh, keep the guys' tanks filtered as best as I can. And Arno's tank sits at roughly 79 to 75 degrees. That's without a heater. Um, but he's quite happy. But anyways, we're going to go feeding. And over here in her mess of a cage is Hellboy's neighbor, Lori. Um, first of all, i got to find Hellboy. I think he's in his cave. He's under his rock. Okay. Now, I do tend to overfeed. Gabby might not be interested tonight. Oh, she is. Poseidon plays with his food, just so everyone knows. He, uh, We'll sit there for maybe an hour watching it before he'll either decide to eat. And Ezio, he's just aggressive. He will eat. <laughs> and of course, Arno gets all the crappy, like the stuff falling is stuff that's kind of clumped together, so he has to find a pellet he can eat, and there you go. He's such a goof, because he will sometimes spit it out, so. Um, food that is not picked up or floats to the bottom, um, I do tank changes. Roughly half of this tank, so about to here is removed and that's where my starting line is for that um, this entire tank often gets about to here removed um, Poseidon's entire tank gets cleaned um, there's no way to do a 55 or even 10 percent change with his so his gets a full tank change um, and these guys get roughly to here tank change um, so yeah, and then I've got my um, algae wipe cloth thing. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd show you guys these guys. Um, they're bedded down for the night. Um, I am wondering if this type of in-tank filter is a good filter for anything smaller than a five gallon, like would it work in a 0 0.75 or would it be too much? Um, so just, yeah, leave your creative comments and suggestions and ideas in the comment section and I will try my best to use them if I can. Just bear in mind I'm on a budget. Um, also, I am dividing my five gallon I'm not sure when, but it will be divided, and my 
30 gallon is also possibly maybe being divided. I'm not sure. I may divide my 30 gallon instead of my five and use my five as a hospital tank. I'm not sure just yet. Um, but anyways, like I said, if you have any suggestions for um, tank filters and stuff like that, let me know. And I will try to use them if I can. Um, I will try to order them in through PetSmart if I can. And if not, I will look online. Okay? Thank you. Bye!